Hello friends, welcome to Kid City. I'm Leslie and I'm so glad you're here today. We're gonna have a really great time today learning more about God's purpose for your life. God made you and he has good things planned for you to do. That means he has good purposes for you. One of those purposes is telling others about Jesus and how much he loves them. We'll hear a story from the Bible that will teach us about, about that today. But before we do that, let's get up and sing. Let me see you guys bouncing around. This song is called The Good News. You guys, Jesus told us that he loves us so much. And he said that we should love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and mind. So we're going to sing that out right now. Here we go. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. The entire law is based on Father, Son, and Spirit, teach these new disciples to obey all the commands that I have made. Be sure of this, I am. That was fun. You guys sounded so great. You can go ahead and sit down now. That song reminds us that God made us to love people. One way we can show people we love them is by telling them the good news that Jesus died for us. 
and wants us to be in his family. There's no better way to tell someone you love them than by telling them about God. I actually know a great story about a guy named Paul who spent his life telling other people about Jesus. Because Jesus loved Paul, he wanted to help other people know they are loved by Jesus too. Let's hear about Paul in this book right here. Do you know what book this is? This is the Bible. This is God's very special book that tells us stories of real people and places from a long time ago. Let's put our listening ears in our thinking caps and let's watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible, Paul. This is Saul. Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. And he would even seek to murder them. Saul was uttering threats with every breath, and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way. And as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city, and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see again. And with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt. And he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God, and he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul, as he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day. Wow, when Paul met Jesus, he told everyone about Jesus. And guess what? We can read about Paul and other people in the Bible and do what they did. Tell everyone about Jesus too. There are so many ways to share about him. You can tell someone about church at home. You can tell them about what you learned in the Bible. Or you can even write notes or draw pictures to remind people that God loves them. You know, I think we should draw something right now to remind us that we were made to share God's love. That's right, it's color time. Grab your markers and some paper and let's see who Gus will teach us to draw today. It's Gus. Are you ready to draw? Today we're drawing Paul. Let's start by drawing a rectangle with the top open. Okay, on this side of the paper, draw a long line down like this and across the bottom and up. Woohoo! Great line. Next, we'll do his nose by drawing an L in the middle here. And then back at the top, make a little tiny line coming down about halfway. I'll go to the end of that line we just made and connect it to this line to finish his nose. 
Now to make his eyes. Draw two big circles on each side of his nose with two smaller circles inside. And then color in the small circles. All right. Let's draw his beard. We need to draw a line across his face, but careful. We don't want it to go through his nose, so draw two small lines on either side like this. And put an extra little line right there. Oh, don't forget his smile. Perfect. Go right up here to the middle of this line to make a little C for his ear. And for his two eyebrows, do a little line here and a little line there. You got it. Okay, now we need to do his hair. Let's start by making two dots. Put one dot here above his eyebrow and another dot about a finger away up and to the left. Now make some curved lines around this way to make, uh, well, a big squished heart. <laughs> it end at the other point we made. Now go to the side of his face right about here and do another heart shape on the side, like this. Now go right about here and make a straight line across. Good. Now look here. We're going to make some more poofs for his hair that go from here to here. Okay, we can do it. One poof. Two poofs, three poofs. Nice poofs. <laughs> Go inside his poof here, and we're gonna make two U shapes up to here. Wow, that looks great. <laughs> we drew Paul. Thanks for drawing with me. <laughs> Bye. Wow, that was awesome. That drawing of Paul can remind us that Paul spent his whole life sharing God's love. He followed the special purpose that God had for him. And you know what? God has the same special purpose for you. When God made you, he made you to tell other people about what he's done for you. It's one of your jobs to do here on earth. So let's start thinking, hmm, who is someone you can talk to about God? You know, there's a Bible verse that might help us think about that some more. Let's check it out. But uh oh, we have a little bit of a problem. It's all covered in bubbles. Can you guys help pop all the bubbles so we can read our Bible verse together? Grab your bubbles and let's get popping. Okay, everybody. It's bubble popping time. The bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm going to find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side. That's it? All right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there. Great job, you guys. I think we got all the bubbles. Let's read our Bible verse together. Deuteronomy 6, 5 says, You must love the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your soul, and all of your strength. And wow, that's such a special verse that reminds us of God's purpose for us to love Him and love others. We can tell them how much He loves them and all the amazing things He's done for us. And we can tell them that He wants them to be in His family. Now let's stand up now and sing our Bible verse song to help us remember our purpose to share God's love. This song is Deuteronomy 6.5. It's all about how we can love God with everything that we have. So you guys, I want you to sing it out with me. We're going to sing, You Must Love the Lord Your God. Let's put our hands up like this and get ready to sing. that out again. Alright, let's sing Deuteronomy.
clap our hands together. Now you guys, we're going to sing that all over again. That we can love God with everything that we have. So you guys, this time, I want you guys to be thinking about how you can love God. Let's sing. Great singing and dancing, everyone. You can have a seat now. The Bible verse reminds us that God made us to love Him and love others. One of His special purposes for us is to share about Him and His love. Did you think of someone you can share that with? I think I'm going to tell my neighbor about God. You can talk to someone in your family this week about who you want to tell about God's love. Maybe it's a neighbor too, or a friend, or a family member, or even the mail carrier, or a worker at the donut shop. God wants everyone to be a part of his family. So you can tell anyone about him. You know what? I think I know a scuppet who can help us learn more about how to share God's love. Let's see what Bestos and his friend Jerry are up to today. Let's put our listening ears in our thinking caps and check this out. I am Bestos, and welcome to Bestos' Toy Review, where I will tell you what I likes and don't likes about the toys here. Today's Han, my brother, sent me this toy. Let's see what it is. Ah, monsters! My favorites! This guy looks like he could be my friends. What is this box of monsters? Are no monsters in here. They must be stuck inside this. Hello, monsters. Are you there? Uh-oh, I need helps. Bestos, hey, it's good to see you again. Mr. Jerry, I need helps. There are monsters trapped in here. Oh, Bestos, that's the Osmo Creative Starter Kit. The monsters aren't trapped. You just have to set it up to see them on your tablet. Oh, is this a tablet? I think it was a candy bar. That's not a candy bar. That's an iPad. Yeah, so you just plug it in, and then it, that's it. It's really cool. See, there's the monster. Oh. <laughs> Hello! You are orange like my brother Han. <laughs> yeah, and then you can draw stuff, and the monster will take it and put it on his screen. <laughs> Look, he took my pineapple. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's kind of like you're sharing your drawings with him. Hey, that reminds me of one of our purposes. What's that? A kind of monsters? No, not really. A purpose is what something is made to do. God made us with a purpose. He made us to share. Like how I am sharing with the orange monster. Yeah, but God made us to share about him with others. That means he made us to tell other people about the good things that God does. When we learn about the good things God does for us, we can tell others about those things too. I heard that God loves me. Should I tell others about that? Absolutely. When we love Jesus, our job is to tell others about how much God loves them. How do I do that? Well, you could tell someone about what you learned at church or what you learned from a Bible story. You could even write a note or draw a picture that tells people about God. What if I make a picture with this orange monster and then I share it with people? That's a great idea, Bestos. Remember, you were made to share about God with others. Now I think you've got this all figured out, so I'll see you later. Bye, Jerry Monster Smash! Ah, Bestos, it's just you. Okay, my baby Belugas. I finished my drawings with the orange monster man. See, I made his rooms. I put my favorite things on the walls. Pizzas! And I made a picture of Jesus for his wall too, so I can share about God with the peoples. Now it is the time for the rating of the Osmo Kits on the Besto scale. I like that I can make pictures and then they go in the monster worlds. I also like that I can make the pictures to shares. So I give it a roller skate out of 100. And it gets the Besto stamps of fun. Okie dokie, lobsters! Today, I learned that we were made to share about God. 
Love you, avocados. See you next time for a best sauce and toy review. And don't forget to lick and subscribe. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. That is such a cool story we learned today about Paul. He went from not believing in God at all to telling everybody about him. We have the really important job of sharing God's love with others. One of the ways you can do that is by telling someone about who Jesus is. Could you tell someone who Jesus is today? Even if they might already know him, you could practice by telling them that Jesus is God and that he loves them very much. Then maybe give them a big hug or a high five so they know how much you love them. Let's pray before we do that. Will you pray with me? Lord, thank you so much that you love us so much and you give us so much love that we have love to share. I pray that each kiddo would feel brave enough to share who you are and how much you love somebody in their life. Would you be with them as they go do that today? We thank you, Lord, for today and for each kiddo watching. Amen. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.